What's going on everybody? Jim Mint here with today's new comic book day reviews and that's right it's the 420 edition so let's set this thing off right. Before we get started guys I am going live on whatnot today at 2 p.m. Pacific 5 p.m. Eastern and I'm also doing another stream at 6 p.m. Pacific and I'm doing two giveaways. I got this slab giveaway for this store 16. This is the Peach Momoko variant in a CGC 9.8. And for my omnibus people, I have the Uncanny X-Men Volume 1 new printing still sealed. If you guys haven't yet, download Whatnot. The link's in the description. It'll get you a $10 credit towards your first purchase, which you can use on today's sale or next week's or somebody else's. So come check us out on Whatnot later today. But with that being said, let's go through some comics. I have a couple of early releases. I have from Boom Studios Grimm. This is by Stephanie Phillips, Flaviano, and Rico Renzi. So this book, it's already past the final order cutoff and it comes out on May 11th. This is about the Grim Reaper. Essentially, a person dies, kind of a cool interaction on how they figure out they're dead and they're visited by a grim reaper so that's kind of where they're going with this this is jessica harlow she's like this new badass character this grim reaper and we're learning that the grim reapers they don't know how they die they don't remember their life like the people that they're transporting from the plane of the living till the afterlife the waiting room if you will so interesting premise solid artwork i dug this one it comes out may 11th check it out at your lcs and we got one more advanced PDF. This one's from Skybound Image, and it's After School, Issue 1, by Benson, Moorhead, Hinkle, and Nero. We just did the Benson Moon Knight Omnibus review, so I thought that was kind of uh, coincidental. Now, this is uh, Final Order Cutoff on May 16th, and it's on sale on June 8th. This one is about a dog that enriches this girl's life. Sounds good, right? <laughs> Come to find out the dog is possessed by this evil demon, and it's kind of trying to invade the planet. Super dope premise. It hits you in the feels, but then it kind of throws you for a loop. Great artwork. It actually reminds me a lot of my daughter's artwork, if you guys have seen Jade Hope. I should definitely send this to her to read. Uh, definitely check this one out. Legitimately liked it. Before we jump into today's new comic books, I do want to thank Dynamite Entertainment for sponsoring this video. Hopefully they're 420 friendly. I'm pretty sure they are. But they have three releases today. They have Jennifer Blood, Issue 7. They have John Carter of Mars, Issue 1. And Hell Sonya, Issue 4. Now, I read both the John Carter and Hell Sonya, so let's just jump into those reviews. John Carter of Mars. Uh, I like this because it feels like it's a sequel to the movie. If you've seen the movie, where it ends, this is kind of where this picks up, although it's a new adventure. The art style is a little bit on the lighter side, almost like a Disney animated movie type of vibe. Similar art to like how my daughter does or how um, the after school book is. But I, I thought it was nice to continue along with this story. Uh, and I definitely would recommend it if you're into John Carter of Mars. For Hell Sonya issue 4, I think the next issue is the last issue. Amazing covers here and an awesome premise of the Hell Sonya sending out her red Sonyas or blue Sonyas, all the multiverses to eliminate these threats. You have this one interaction on a plane and it looks like it's just regular people on a plane. Who is the evil person that they have to seek out to kill? It's worth reading. I dug this series. I think even if you pick up the back issues and read the five issue arc, it's worth it. All right, y'all, so we're going to start off with Image now, The Secret History of the War on Weed. This is by Jerry Dugan, Brian <coughs> Poston, and Scott Koblish. So <coughs> they're 420 friendly. They made a comic book about this guy in the front. This is like an 80s action hero, but he's working for like a conservative government to destroy weed because uh, he'll kill anything that you tell me to fight kind of a thing. So uh, it's fun. It's um, a a weed issue you know i think rock and robbie would have enjoyed it uh if it's it's something extra to pick up it comes out on 420 it's a fun weed related thing it's got kind of a political message in the background but it's not trying to take itself too seriously it's just a dumb fun weed thing that breaks the fourth wall and it's just a good time then we have slumber issue number two this is by smith uh cardinale robbins wands and antos I, I like the premise here you can go to this uh, company uh, if you're having nightmares they can go into your dreams and kill your nightmares but what happens if a nightmare gets loose is kind of the premise 
So, I mean, that's kind of what's happening here. Not much more to speak of than what I said uh, for the issue one review. But I read issue two. I'll pick up issue three. It's been fun. The artwork's nice. It's kind of an out there image in the book. And then we got Ice Cream Bad. Issue... I don't even know. It's got a bunch of the issues on the cover. I don't see what issue. Oh, 29 uh, by uh, Price, Mozaro, and O'Halloran. So um, I like the Ice Cream Man. This was kind of a sad, like a eulogy. This guy speaking at a eulogy. And these are all different kind of slice of life anthology one shot. So it's not even like an ongoing story. But this one is kind of based around the concept. <sighs> based around the concept of what? Hold on. <laughs> Hold up, hold up. I don't remember. Yeah, you're looking back. I read it this morning. I'm kind of losing it because it's kind of one of those you just got to read it and you're living in the moment. It's speaking at a guy's eulogy, looking at all the things that he coveted in life and what he left to his family and his will and how it's just bullshit and garbage. And, and it was kind of just a, a, a message, I guess, of live your life to the fullest. But that was Ice Cream Man. Moving on to Marvel Comics. A light week for Marvel, at least for me, Hulk 6. By Donny Cage, Ryan Otley, Cliff, Rathburn, and Frank Martin. So, not not really a fan of this series, man. I love Donny Cage, but uh, uh, this one's not hitting it for me. And Donny Cage acts like he invented something in this book that's already a thing. What if the Hulk got so mad and so worked up in the danger room or the, the engine room that um, the Hulk had a Hulk? Like, dude, it's been done. It's called Rolk. Unless that is Rolk, but it just it was written like it was new. I don't know. I'm lost here. Is Banner the bald guy talking to somebody and Banner's piloting the sh ship at the s I'm lost. I'm lost and I'm not digging it. The art's good though, but not digging this run. Then we have Wolverine issue number 20. This was a good Deadpool issue. Deadpool trying to get his ass to Krakoa. He wants back on X-Force and it was just a fun issue reminding me that the Wolverine run in itself is not solid. I don't even remember much of the Wolverine stuff. It's just talking about the aftermath of uh, his time journey during 10 lives, 10 deaths. But it was a, it's a Deadpool issue. But it was a good issue. All right, guys. Then we got this Captain America Zero by Kelly Lansing, Onabuchi, and De Ulis. So this is a Captain America Steve Rogers and Captain America uh, Sa Sam Alexander... Um, Falcon Captain America. I can't think of his name right now. It's a team up with them, and it's really a book to set up their two new ongoing series or whatever type of series they have going on. It was pretty good. The art was really, really good, and they have a lot of dope variants for this that you're going to see. Mark Brooks' wraparound cover, Alex Ross. Uh, it, it's a little preachy at times, but it kind of goes with the story, and, and I really I did enjoy it overall. I'll probably pick up the number one of the two series they have coming out and see what's going on with the caps. Uh, which is going to bring us to the last one for Marvel. Doctor Strange, Nexus of Nightmares, Issue 1 by Ralph Macchio, Imbram Mustafa, and Naraj Menon. So this is a one-shot just basically setting us up for Doctor, Vers Mol Doctor, <laughs> Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness. It's given us Nightmares, it's given us Mordo. It literally retells Doctor Strange's origin story for like six pages. Like, we didn't need all that. But it's really for... Um, Fan, movie fans who maybe want to jump into the comics or maybe fans that aren't familiar with Doctor Strange and want to just brush up before the movie so that one might be for you moving on to DC we got for Black Label Catwoman Lonely City book three by Cliff Chang this is a variant not a fan of this variant I don't know is that supposed to be Selena Kyle on the front that's not how she looks in the book uh, I enjoy this series it's um, old woman Catwoman on a DC black label so you know people can die it's an Elseworlds thing and it's like R-rated so they can die and I'm not going to mention who but that happens and Selena has a has serious conflict on whether she should continue this mission of hers or not um, seeing the two-face um, Harvey Dent as mayor kind of unravel is pretty fun it's got a lot of heart. It's got great dialogue. Nice, easy palette with great line work. I don't know. I like this series a lot. It's a nice flow. Uh, then we have World's Finest, issue number two. This is by Mark Wade, Mora, and Bond Villain. The Day of Doom Patrol. Now, this is okay. I mean, the, the, the first kind of a little bit of this book wraps up what happened in the first issue. Doom Patrol performing this autopsy on Superman. He got hit with the red uh, kryptonite. And then it just immediately jumps into this new story. I don't know. 
it was okay. I mean, it had some good artwork. It had some good Batman, uh, Superman moments. Hold on. What was the second arc, man? Looking forward to this Flashpoint Beyond, yo. Oh, yeah. So it was Batman and Superman versus a magic user. Because you know how Superman, that's his weakness. So it was all right, man. Moving on over to Batman the Night. Issue 4 out of 10, Chip Zdarsky. This issue, now I kind of get why Chip Zdarsky wanted to do this story. He's joined by D. Gia Menencio and Placencia. The Art of Death, Bruce Wayne's time training uh, martial arts in the mountains. He picks up a friend. He learns that his trainer is all about the art. But he might have to tra uh, train questionable people. Shit, Bruce Wayne is questionable. But he may have to train assassins, and it may cause a rift between the student and the teacher. It was touching. It was deep. It was, um, I don't know, it felt, I don't know, it felt pretty big. I don't know. It felt grandiose. I guess when you're in the mountains and high above and snows everywhere, I don't know, it just felt like you were watching a movie is basically what it felt like. Moving on to uh, Trial of the Amazons, issue two of two, the Yara Floor, Wonder Girl stuff. This is the... Uh, Obviously, the last issue, two of two, I haven't been reading the tie-ins that have been going on in other Wonder Woman titles, but I still followed along with this easily enough. It's all about the whodunit murder mystery of Hippolyta and the, uh, I, I can't even remember her name, uh, uh, rattling off the names of people who uh, are implicated and why they're innocent or why it couldn't have been them and who did it. So, you know, whatever. Pretty much done with this and... Not really worth it, I guess, if I had to keep it real. All right, then we're going to go to Nightwing, issue 91 by Tom Taylor, Borges, and Lucas. Damn Tom Taylor. He could write himself a good comic when he wants to. This was a dope-ass Flash Nightwing issue, man. This has such good chemistry, action, dialogue, uh, tying in his little DC universe. I love the little Jonathan Kent nod. Jonathan Kent coming through to take down mercenaries. Like, give us something that Jonathan Kent can actually fight against. Like, th that made me feel like, yo, he is uh, a force to be reckoned with. Nightwing calls on Superboy. You only get him for one panel. But if you read this, you know what I'm talking about. Tom Taylor, uh, excellent issue on Nightwing. Didn't get pick of the week, though. Pick of the week, if you guys know what's coming out this week, you knew this was pick of the week, and I didn't want to do it. I'm reading it, and I'm like, nah, it's not going to get pick of the week. I give this book pick of the week every week it comes out. Uh, and by the end of it, I said, damn it, nice house on the lake, issue eight. It is the pick of the week. James Tiny in the fourth with Alvaro Martinez Bueno and Jordi Belair. The story is just so interesting. I want to know what happens next. And they leave us on this cliffhanger. I'm not going to spoil. I want to know what happens with that. You know, that's where I'm at with this. Uh, we get a flashback on Walter and one of the characters kind of, uh, you know, picking up things picking up on things now in, in the past that he was saying or doing and how he wanted to make these meaningful relationships with people. He was looking for a list of eight or, or nine or however many it really is to save based on caring about them. But why? We don't know why yet. And that's what's so intriguing. Is it aliens that are going to uh, invade or who the hell knows, man? Supernatural, extraterrestrial. It's interesting. The characters are mature and it feels like you're not reading a comic book at this point. It feels like a novel on pictures. Great stuff. I dug it, and that's all the comics this week. I'm surprised I got through it. I mean, usually this goes down right before the video anyway. But um, we're going to be going all day, man. You guys are probably watching this early on, 2 p.m. Pacific to, uh, this afternoon. We're going live for an hour for uh, the one hour, one dollar, 30 second comic book auction on whatnot. And then we're gonna come back on at 6 p.m. Pacific time and we're gonna do another hour, same thing. One dollar starts, I have omnibus, single issues, variants, and we have those giveaways. So appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Uh, come bring whatever you got to the shows and stay minty fresh. Peace.